My name is Jörg Scheubin. I'm a postdoc in the Boyden lab, and I'm going to show you some of our work on close-packed uh, microelectrodes for recording in two, three, 2D and 3D in the brain. Um, before I start, I'm actually going to spend the entire first half of this talk giving you an introduction and then show you some results and data in the last 90 seconds. Um, so the brain is three-dimensional, and computations happen throughout its volume. And mapping and understanding the activity in the brain has a long history, but recording devices have largely been one-dimensional and sometimes two-dimensional. Another problem is that in the brain, the neurons are packed very close together. And classical fabrication techniques have resulted in recording sites that are spaced too far apart, and, well, anyways, uh, too far apart, and that are also often too large to scale up in quantity. And so to solve these problems, we use silicon technology to microfabricate scalable, high-density electrode arrays with thousands of closely packed recording sites. And in the example, this is a photograph of such a design. Uh, you can see a 3D probe with 60 shanks covering an area of 5 by 7 millimeters. Now, if we look closely at one of these shanks, it contains on the surface a dense array of recording sites. It's blurred, but if you deblur it, you'll see these slight gray squares. Those are the recording sites. Um, now, they're configured in this particular example as, a, uh, oh, thank you. Um, as two columns of 34 rows covering a depth of 400 microns. And over last year, we've recorded in mice with uh, both 1D and 2D probes of this style. Um, and that's a preliminary step to understand how to best configure the overall 3D design. And so as an example on the right, there's a snapshot. Well, OK, well, you can't really see that. Um, there was a snapshot um, of a neuron firing recorded by a high-density 64-channel probe um, of the type that you see on the very right. Now, you can see how the spike is picked up, or you could see how the spike is picked up by this probe uh, on 16 different recording sites. If you squint, um, there's a little bit of, so it goes like this, and, up and, on, and there's a few more here where it's white. Um, now, we're currently working on, on a scalable way to produce these probes and also then explore options for, for FDA approval processes for the 3D probes. I mean, I do have a couple of 2D and 3D probes with me, so if you want to see more, you can track me down at lunch. <laughs> 